So I'm putting a couple marks there. I'm going to take it over on the vise and give it a couple whacks. I'll close that up a little bit, make it a little tighter. That might be a little too much, but I'll have to take it back and take a look at it. All right, so I did. So I got that placed, that placed. Oh, that's much better. Still needs a little work, but I'll tune it up. Got it fitting pretty decent. But what I want to do is mimic this down here. So this piece here, I have a line here, and I'm going to bend that so that it matches this, and I get the right angle and everything on here so that it looks right. So it's going to go in there that way. I want this to bend this way. And I'm going to lean it over the edge of the table. Connor's got his old fender laying on the way. So I'm going right from that point to that point. And I'm going to hit it on each end first, and it'll try. It'll kind of try to keep me on the edge. I'm already on the edge, but I mean the edge of the table. There we go. Now another way I've done this is I've, I've, I've also made makeshift brakes by clamping a piece of angle iron down, use a couple C-clamps and clamp it down, but I really can't get it that great. And besides, this, this is going to work. I'll be able to do it this way. Watch the little fingertips. I'm holding this hammer at an angle as I'm hitting and I'm letting the corner of the table stop my blows and it's coming out so I'm getting pretty straight without getting all wavy. Not too bad. I think uh, it's got a little wave there. I'm going to see how it looks as far as profile. I think it's not steep enough yeah. yet. It's actually really close. So I just got to go a little bit more. I think that looks pretty good. Now, put it on the edge here like this. A little high spot here. I'll it out. Mainly I'm just bending it. I'm not trying to stretch it or, or dink it all up. I think I got that looking pretty good. We're going to give it a try. So, I got that mocked up. Sticks out just a little past here. So I'm going to lay the other piece over, trim it out, and then tack weld it. So I got it so it's kind of laid up over overlaying. So when I when I get it all welded, I'm going to I'm going to trace all this and um, I'm going to cut cut out all the rot. Probably going to wind up cutting a bunch of this off the uh, of the other piece because I've I've noticed something that I wasn't paying attention to close enough. And you see how that flares off on the bottom. I have to duplicate that. So this profile actually comes out wider here and then it narrows down as it comes up and then it widens out again. That's a little bit, <laughs> that's a little more pounding than I want to do. So what I'm going to wind up doing is trimming it and I'm probably going to, I want to get rid of any rusty crap, but it's, it's rusty in the back too. But I want to get back to where it's pretty solid, which is back in here. And then I'm going to make it fit up. Um, and preserve that profile. All right, so <laughs> you can tell I've done some whittling. Um, this is the one for the pasture side, and I'm getting closer. I've been just working on it and trying to get it so it so I can get it closer where I can I can put it in there. And now it's starting to look like I can put it on there. And when I by the time I get it cut out and fit it in, it's going to work. It's going to be. I get my profiles are just about right. It's coming up to be just about what it needs to be. And it's straight, just like that straight. It, so what I'm basically doing is trying to bend a piece of metal straight. I mean, it angles back like that. You can see how there's an angle back. 
Um, but basically what I'm trying to do is put a straight bulge on a rounded piece of metal and it's, uh, it's not easy. It's tough, it's a little tricky. So I got this one just about shaped up and I'm gonna start on this one. So I did have this profile correct and I already fixed it on this one. You can see the difference there because it just flares out on the bottom over here. You can see where that, that comes up wider. So that's what I gotta do over here too. And I, uh, I made my snip. I'm gonna, I'm gonna hammer that out flat and then I'm gonna make the bend more severe and make it match that one. Okay, due to some slight differences in my manufacturing process, like this profile being different than this one, I find that they'll, I'm gonna have to tune them up separately so I can capture this part of the profile lower on the side of the truck. They both look like they're gonna work out okay. It's just the way this, is, this bend's a little different than this bend. So I can't keep making them the same way. It's a good thing I didn't just hack them out both the same because it wouldn't have worked out good. But now I'm just gonna have to fit them up individually. Well, I think I got things close enough to where I'm gonna start trying to fit things up just so I can get things tack welded. And I'm just gonna use a couple pilot tip screws to hold my stuff in place while I do it. It's probably gonna be a nuisance. Sometimes here, these screws are hard to drive and this metal is, there's not a whole lot left here. I just gotta try to, try to get it so I can, so I can keep it positioned and get it welded up. Then hack all this junk metal out of here. There's one screw, that's good. Let's see if I got it anywhere as close to where it needs to be. Looks like I got a little pivot going on. But when this gets tugged back, it should be kind of flat with that. I, I'm not sure I like that. I'm not sure it's gonna be not tight enough into the corner after all. So I think I gotta try again. Maybe what I'll do is put that there like that. And catch a screw there, pull that screw out and pivot it back. Cause this looks like it's gonna be just about right there. But at the bottom, it seems like it's sticking out too far. Give that a whirl, see what happens. It's nice when you get a good push on these screws, they drill a lot quicker. Right. I don't think this screw had much of a pilot to it anyway. It's all covered with filings now. It's all magnetized and overheated and junky. So when I push this back like this, yeah, I'm gonna have to clamp that. That really doesn't look wide enough. It looks like, it looks like it's coming in too narrow. I might have to trim this back some. But you know what? I can put the screws in, get it in place, see if I gotta trim it, and then I can always put it right back in the same old screw hole. So that's, that's where that comes in handy. Almost like a poor man's Clico or something. Although I do have Clecos, they're just, they're just stuck in a car out in the snowbank right now. <laughs> I don't want to go digging for them. So, yeah, let's see. All right. So let me try to get another screw in there. Yep, sometimes it's a pain. That metal's so rotten, I don't want to really push on it too much. So I'm gonna put a screw up here. This is, this is still pretty solid. So I got a screw in there, it's gonna show me if I'm at the right spot. What I did is ran a screw backwards, cause I wanted to strip this piece of metal out. That way, when the screw goes all the way in, it won't bind it, it'll just screw it in tight. See, now that, that metal had slipped, so it would be able to let the screw draw it in tight. Well, it looks like I got it positioned after all. I didn't cut it either. It looks like it's a little wide, a little coming in a little narrow there, but I, I think it's gonna be okay the way it is. I got room for my bolts, kind of follows the right contour. 
It's got a little wobble here, but I'm not going to worry about that. I'm just going to have to get the other piece on, get it fitted up to weld. Now I'm going to make a piece for here. I'm going to make a piece for here and bring it up around so that I get that profile. And then I think most of this, like here, I'm just going to trim that. I'm going to trim it. I'm going to wire wheel it and treat it. Same thing on this side. I don't think I need to replace that all. That's what I'm going to do with that. Once I get this all welded together with this piece, I'll be able to trim it. I'll trace it all and then I'll trim it out. Cut it out and uh, weld the new pieces in. One thing you learn from doing this kind of stuff is patience. You just got to have patience. I mean, just about, I think anybody could do it. It's just a matter of having the patience to learn it, try something new if they need to, and uh, keep going at it. Well, guys, have a good one. Uh, like and subscribe. If you like the video, that'd be great. Share it. Anybody you think might be interested in it. Thanks again.